Hello everybody, it's Matthew Coates here and it's guitar lesson <laughs> uh, 16, okay? Right, I thought I'd better have an exam update and then it saves me writing everything down um, and sending sometimes the wrong message to whoever uh, with them being two grades going on. Basically, the London College of Music, LCM, uh, that grade seems to be straightforward, so I've heard... I'm not getting any negative feedback from people entering that one. However, the Trinity College London seems to be a bit more complex. But actually, um, with my, with myself um, and the rep very kindly keeping in contact with me, um, plus a few parents as well um, getting to know the, the right buttons to press on the link, there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel with it. Uh, basically, you'll all have the link that I've sent you. So you click on that. Now, an uh, important thing to do is as soon as you uh, enter for the recorded. Now, recorded, not online exam, has to be recorded. Right, as soon as you click on that, that link, in effect, you are starting the ball rolling as one parent mentioned to me the other night, which was a good point. Uh, so it means that you've literally got three weeks from when you submit the entry, you see? So in other words, you'll get one week, then the Trinity College London will send you an, uh, a portal or whatever it's called, so that you can then submit your recordings of your um, pieces and also what they want are the scales. So basically you'll have to play your scales. Now I don't want anybody saying to me they don't know the scales because it was one of the first things we did and we spent most of the first lockdown doing them. So it'll be like riding a bike, you'll be able to get back on again and plow ahead with them. So please, you know, nobody say, oh, I don't know my scales and all of this. You will know them. And one one girl, I'm not going to mention her name, has proved that to me in one in one in about five minutes. She just played them because she remembered them. Uh, and I also said to people to keep their scales, keep their pieces, keep everything going, basically, because obviously when we knew that the exams were going ahead, we would be entering in for them. But I know as a lot happened. Anyway, uh, to cut it all short. Once you've got that, then you've got two weeks. So you've got the week for the uh, portal thing or whatever it's to... You get the email from Trinity to let you know that you can then start recording the pieces and the scales. Then when you're happy with those, you send those to Trinity by that date. So it'll be like two weeks. Um, so if, say it was the end of... Oh, I'm not going to mention it. Well, you know what I mean anyway. So you, you've got two weeks to put them through. Anyway, that's the stage where that is. Also, when you're doing your, when you're doing your recording, right, you've got your scales. So all the grade for the Trinity Guild Hall who are taking them are all my be beginners from lockdown who were working on the Trinity College London initial book, okay? That was what they were working on, all right? So what you had was, obviously you know what your pieces are. So whether it's Salsa Party, Helping Hands, uh, Bells of Dawn, Finnish Folk Song, whatever, or Rigadoon, any of that, you'll know what's going on with that, okay? Now, the scales, you had C major, you had A minor, A natural minor, and you had G major, all right? Now you'll have those written down somewhere and then the matching arpeggios. So you've got your, you've got your C major arpeggio, you've got your A minor arpeggio, and you've got your uh, G major arpeggio, all right? So that's your arpeggios, right? Then of course, there's your pieces, which I've just said, and that's it, right? So that all goes off. You've got to make the best performance you can. Now, it's good because most of you will probably manage to get a couple of lessons in with me before you actually send the footage off, okay? So it means that we can check on a few areas 
if you've chose to submit now. If you choose to submit a bit later, obviously you've got a bit more time and that you have to be realistic with yourselves. Parents and children, you have to say, look, am I ready for this exam? Does, Mr. Does Matthew think I'm ready for this exam? Well, yes, most of you are, but, but there's a few of you need to really dig in and work. You know, if you really practice, I had a girl the other week that we hadn't been looking at the pieces for a while, like head face on, and basically she worked so hard and her mum helped her as well. And you know what? I was blown away when she when she had a lesson the other week. Uh, she played the pieces and it just goes to show. I mean, it's like myself when I'm doing a recording. I only have a week to practice the pieces, that's it. But you know, that's the week I've got to make that work and that is that keeps me going. Anyway, enough of all of that. I hope that explains a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play uh, some of the work that people are working on. Now, I'm not going to go into the initial grade pieces because they'll be on my Matthew Coates Guitar Lessons uh, one till about one till eight because I remember putting them on on the first lockdown. So just have a little scroll through those YouTube video Matthew Coates guitar lessons. Uh, my um, the scales are on there as well and technique. All right. Oh, there's one other thing I meant to add when you're recording your pieces, right? There's three areas that you have to imagine that the examiner's looking at, right? The first area is how you how you present yourself. So I'll pretend I'm doing the recording. Now watch that now, watch the difference. Hello. Uh, my name's Matthew Coates and I'm going to play my first piece, Salsa Party. And so on. Do you get the idea? So I'm presenting myself in a confident way. And most of the kids I teach, they're spot on. Nice, happy faces, you know. I don't mean you come on laughing your head off. I mean you come on, don't look as though it's doom and gloom. You know, you can practice it. You can get your parents to record you. Most of you have got your own mobiles, tablets or whatever. Record yourselves. Play it back. Be critical. Say, did I look like... Give yourself a mark out of... A, what, a mark out of eight for it, right? Because basically the pieces are out of 20. I'm pretty sure they were the last time anyway. But they're out of 20. So if you split, say, seven threes of 21... Give yourself seven marks for each piece. So you say to yourself, right, seven marks for presentation. So I'd give myself seven there. I wouldn't give myself seven the first time I came on. Secondly, technique. I've talked about the hand. I've talked about using index and middle. Right, I've talked about pulgar, the thumb. Don't beat yourselves up if you're still at the odd time doing that. It's it, At this grade, it's not like the end of the world, but it might be something that the examiner might pick up on and say, use of index and middle. We've talked about it in the lessons. This, at the minute, is a very important hand, the left hand. Please. Mo all of you, really, you're all great. We've got that sus that you don't just use one finger. But, you know, like, I'll use salsa party. See, so that's technique. So give yourself seven marks for tech out of seven for technique. Now the last little area is basically musicality. Um, you know, it's all it's all very well somebody getting up, uh, getting up. That's a stage term. It's all very well somebody playing everything like this. Look, you know, you know, no expression. Knows the notes, absolutely flawless, if there's no personality coming into it. So like like dynamics, tone colour, tone colour, are you playing here? Nice mellow, what they call um, rubato, not rubato, um, 
what's dulce, sorry, sweet, dulce. Then we've got natural, we've got tasto playing over here, and then ponticello. So you see with salsa party, if you're playing that one, you starting off just here, which is tasto, over the sound hole, or it's basically nicknamed natural. So you're going. Now I'm going to play it all, the next four bars are the same, so I'll play them ponticello. played a wrong note there so that would have been marked down but it doesn't matter the idea is I've put some musicality so this is what we're looking at when you're doing the recording practice these three areas say to yourself right how am I presenting myself it doesn't mean you have to you know like it doesn't mean you have to put any fancy sort of you might want to but you don't have to put anything fancy on you just be in your casual gear one of my pupils already has done a recording it was spot on because what she did was she found a plain background <laughs> not with loads of pictures on like mine I like me right um but she just did it with a blank wall she had a plain top on just a, like a jogger's top like this sort of thing just you know casual but she presented herself smart everything and it was spot on well done to that person i'm not going to mention her name obviously but she knows who she is and her mom knows who she is as well so basically this is what we're talking about all right so i hope you see i couldn't have put that into a message it's ridiculous i'm fed up of bitten about with messages um it, it gets exhausting and that's no no disrespects it's just easier if you just say put me on and I'll waffle away. Anyway, I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna stop there actually, because that's the first part of this guitar lesson sixteen.